Aloha! So this is the Horrific Quiz 3. And I think this is the last in the series of quizzes. I hope I'm wrong though, I mean, I'm really enjoying these things. Um, but for now, let's just do this third part. I'll find more later. I think there's a part four, I mean, I hope there is. Like, so I did really bad on the first one. I did pretty good on the second quiz. So let's see how I do in here. You are the ma- are, are you the master of classic? Also, the theme of this one is classic horror movies. Oh no, I'm gonna do bad. I'm not good with these. Uh, but I'll give it a shot. Oh. Well, actually, this is not too old. What is the word that Danny mutters and writes on the door with his mother's lipstick? Red rum. Which is murder backwards, but he writes red rum. Correct. <laughs> the egg opens and the alien- See, these movies I know, I thought when it said classic horror movies, I, I thought it meant like old black and white or whatever, like just really old ones, but late 70s, early 80s, I know, pretty well. The egg opens- In Alien, the egg opens and the alien jumps out and attaches itself to the person's what? Face. Although if it was legs, that would be hilarious to me, but it's face. By the end of the movie, Dawn of the Dead, how do the survivors escape? Helicopter. Partially fueled helicopter. Correct. Psycho. This is the first American film to ever show what? Back in those days, people would have been so uptight that I would believe that they've never captured a toilet flushing on film, something so basic as that. Crap. Um, it's, I'm, I'm gonna say shower scene. Shower scene. Oh, I got it wrong! It was a fucking shot. Uh, toilet. Was it toilet? Yeah, it was a freaking toilet. I knew it. In Dracula, who does Dr. Jack call in after the deterioration of Mina's health? Dr. Jack calls Van Helsink, right? No, or is it the friend, Anna? It's Van Helsink, correct. Carrie, what is Carrie dumped with when Chris schemes a revenge? Pig blood, correct. The mummy, how was the mummy resurrected? Oh no, this is no, this is old. I'm not too good with these really old movies. How was the mummy resurrected? A dark wizard resurrected it? Oh, an, archae an archaeologist reads a spell. It's this. Correct. Pet Cemetery. One of my favorite horror movies. This is on my list of top five horror movies. Like really, like it will scare you. Like nightmares. Uh, it's Pet Cemetery. How does the baby cage creed die? And it's it's a car accident and it's it's a scene like that that really like hits home. It's partially realistic. I mean this kind of stuff does happen. So to me those are the those those are the scariest horror films horror films where it really incorporates real life. I would even say like the best horror films are really just like dramas disguised as horror films. Like The Exorcist is really about the the drama between the mom and the daughter car accident Friday Friday the 13th how was Kevin Bacon's character Jack Burrell killed arrow through the throat correct not on Elm Street how was Fred Krueger killed when he was mortal burned Townspeople burned him in the house. Child's Play. What are the dolls called that Charles Lee Ray's spirit is in? Chucky. Wait, good guy doll. Correct. Night of the Living Dead. How does Ben die at the end? Well, shot by white people. Mistaken as a zombie and shot. Poltergeist. Poltergeist. What do the Freelings not know about the new house they're moving into? Indian Burial Ground. 
correct. House of Wax. Why did Burke torch the museum? Mm, I've never seen this movie or the remake. Maybe I should though. It's a classic. The original and the remake. The original is a classic because it has Vincent Price and other obvious reasons. The remake is a classic because that socialite dies. What's her name? Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton. But anyway, House of Wax, why did Burke torch the museum? I'm gonna have to just guess. I'm gonna have to guess because I don't really know. It would have been funny if it was for insurance money. Uh, but it seems like it would be to get rid of all the evidence. Maybe it's evidence. I got it wrong. That's from The Beyond. Another great horror movie. Wrong answer. Burke torched the museum for insurance money. I should have said insurance money. Halloween. Why was young Michael Myers sent to a sanitarium because he stabbed, murdered, wait, stabbed his sister? Right? Or did he murder his babysitter? I know it's not sewed his mouth together or raped and killed his parents. It's stabbed, stabbed his sister or murdered his babysitter. I think he murdered his babysitter. Oh, what? Was I wrong? It's a sister, isn't it? That's from Evil Dead. Ah, he stabbed his sister with a kitchen knife. I kept thinking of Jamie Lee Curtis. So it's like, how could he have stabbed her if she's okay and... I guess he had other sisters. Wait, was Jamie Lee Curtis his sister? Oh, I don't even remember. How was the shark killed in the end? Uh, Head blown off. Wait. Electrocuted, that's part two? Shot with a machine gun? Impaled? Wait a minute. Head blown off. Right? Doesn't, like, the hero say, Die, you son of a bitch, or something? Correct. The Evil Dead. What is Cheryl raped by in the woods? Tree roots. Now, I am not an Evil Dead expert, but I'm just gonna throw it out there that I know a lot about the Evil Dead series. I know a lot about Bruce Campbell. I know a lot about Sam Raimi and Ted Raimi and the whole production. Tree roots. Correct. Is there like an Evil Dead quiz? Like a quiz specifically aimed towards Evil Dead fans? Because I want to take that test. You know what? After this, I'll go and look for that. The Exorcist. What is the famous walk called? Spider walk. The birds. Melanie buys what kind of birds for Mitch? Oh, I don't know. Love birds? Cause it's love... Correct. Phantom of the Opera. What is the one thing that the Phantom asks from the managers? Never saw it. This is another classic though that I should watch. It doesn't even matter if I, if I like it or not. It's just that I have to. It's like, I don't really care for pepperoni pizza. But as a pizza fan, a pizza fanatic, I have to eat it because I can't say I've never had it. That makes sense? Yeah, that does, right? Well, let's just guess. A new show? I got it wrong. The Phantom asked for the opera box. Opera box? Oh, that little, like, little area that, like, that's high up where, like, all the rich people are, and they watch with their little glasses, that's, like, on a stick, and they're like, hmm. Your final score is 1,600. Just like my last one. And that means I am a master of horror, according to this game. I'm not saying I am or anything. I would never... There are people who are... are like, they know everything about horror movies, and I would never want to say that I'm on their level, because I'm not. Totally not. I'm just a guy who likes horror movies. Just an average guy. If anything, I'm, I'm a horror lover. That's, that's fair. So yeah, thanks for watching. I don't know how fun this is. Like, me answering quizzes. 
but if I think if you're a fan of horror movies, you might have found that interesting. Um, I'm gonna look for that Evil Dead quiz because that sounds kind of fun. Uh, we'll see. Keep an eye out for that. Until then, bye.